one bright and sunny day over Colorado Springs. A distant siren can be heard, and Pickrob awakens from his deep slumber. The sirens grow louder, then suddenly the front door bursts open, and police rush in and scream at Pickrob. Pickrob falls face first onto the floor and spreads his greasy sausage hands away from his large body. The officers try to put handcuffs on him, but he is too large and they must use cargo netting to detain him. Once cuffed, they load him into a semi-trailer and drive him to jail. Pick Rob arrives at jail and must be searched, but due to his many hiding spots on his body, they use an x-ray scanner from a nearby hospital. Once searched, they transport him to a cell. In his cell, Pick Rob begins mumbling to himself about being set free and being innocent. Get me out of here, Mr. Patrols. A man gets out of bed and approaches Pickrob 2000. He introduces himself as Jeffrey Epstein. Pickrob introduces himself as Pickrob. Jeffrey asks Pickrob, Hey, what are you in for? Pickrob responds to, I love cuties the movie. Jeffrey gains an angry demeanor and grabs his shank. Pickrob screams, That's not fucking proof! Jeffrey relaxes a little. Hey, Robbie, what, what's your favorite movie? Pickrob grins. I love cuties the movie. Jeffrey stabs his knife into Pickrob and walks out. Next day, at breakfast, Pickrob sits down next to former president of the United States, William Jefferson Clinton. The two get into a long conversation about their favorite children and restaurants. After a while, the conversation is interrupted by a guard calling for Robert Picconi. Pickrob walks over to the guard and asks, What's up? N-word! 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 The guard tells Pickrob he has a visitor, so he heads that way. Pickrob walks into the visitation room and sees a familiar face at the table. It's the wonderful Army Admiral, Priest, and Native American, Charlene Davis. She talks to Pickrob for a while about his time so far in jail. She tells him she can get him out of jail by casting a spell. Charlene pulls out a magic cross from the Vatican given to her by Pope John Paul II. She rubs the cross and begins speaking in tongue. Ooga booga, ooga booga, pick rob ooga, Apollo booga, cuties, ooga booga. Suddenly, pick rob appears outside of his apartment. He walks inside and sits on his computer to record a mukbang and watch cuties the movie.